creativity is actually very amazing. It's unpredictable. People come up with things you never would have imagined someone could create. And sometimes we can't even imagine that we created it ourselves. Isn't it crazy? People in this world come up with some of the darnest things. And we're just like, how in the heck did you even think of that? People are so creative, but not only that, we're so smart. Whether it's a song idea or a painting or a sculpture, or you actually hmm. invented something new that didn't exist before. I think it is insane how our brains work and we we don't even completely understand how these things function. That is so crazy to me. The role of your environment, what surrounds you, the people, your home, your job, whether you're going for a walk outside, there are so many things that are around us that, that gives us that spark. Especially whenever you are feeling like sad or depressed or you're just not in the mood and next thing you know you see some lovely animals, ducks or birds or dogs or, or kids and you're just like man they just are having such an amazing time in their life and they look so free and beautiful and all of a sudden you're inspired. Our environment plays such a big role and we already know that. If you're in an uncomfortable situation, you can still be creative, but your creativity is gonna be a lot different than if you're in like a happy, comfortable, safe environment. The impact of your mood, your emotions, Oh my God, I have highs and lows, you guys. So whenever I'm high, my music is probably gonna actually be like sad and depressed because I'm reflecting on the times that I was sad. And whenever I'm low, my songs are gonna be happy and upbeat because I'm trying to pick myself up. It's actually the opposite for me. So however I'm feeling, it's not that I'm yearning for that other part of myself, but they're both sides of me. They're both things that I experience so it's like, I can't forget about you and what you went through, you know, a month ago. <laughs> I, I remember you depressed, Portia, and I love you, so I'm going to write a song for you. Oh, happy Portia, I love you so much and I can't wait to see you again because I love when you're like that, you know, it's just, it's crazy, but it, it really does affect us. Our mood affects how we create or whatever it is we're going through. The importance of being open to new ideas and experiences. There are a lot of people in my life that don't really like changes. They like for things to stay the same. And I understand change is good, but change is also scary. But whenever you're a creative person, it really is important to be open to new ideas and experiences because you never know what's going to come walking through that, that metaphorical door. You know, it's not a real door. Maybe it is your literal front door but maybe just like the door to your life whether it's something bad or something good it can it can impact you and even if it is a bad experience you can come out better on the other side I mean, it doesn't always work out that way, but I truly hope it does. But it is still important, while we must protect ourselves and be safe, it is okay to open yourself up. It is okay to allow yourself to experience new things, not even just new people, but new things like indoor skydiving, going cycling or jogging or swimming with the dolphins, something new you've never experienced before, a new drink a new food item, a new clothing store. And next thing you know, you're like, all of a sudden, I feel like I'm being creative again. Sometimes it is challenging to translate your thoughts and your feelings into some form of expression. Like, I can't really explain what I'm going through, but maybe I can create something and that will allow me to convey how I'm feeling in this moment or how I felt in that moment or how I wish to feel in the future. Allow your creative side to just, to just flow from within you. Sometimes we do hit bumps in the road and it's like, gosh, I can't create anything. However we're feeling in that moment, even if we have hit a wall, 
we can allow that wall to be our source of creativity. Like if I'm writing a song, I can write a song about hitting a wall. I'm unable, I'm incapable of doing what I want to do because I don't feel like it. Sometimes even our limitations can enhance our creativity. Like you're sick at home, you can't leave, you're stuck in the bed, you want to write a song, write a song. You want to paint something, get up and paint something if you feel like it, you know? But there are so many other ways of being creative. There are so many forms of creativity in this world. You can keep a journal for ideas and inspiration, experiment with different artistic mediums, take a walk, practice mindfulness and meditation, set up a creative workspace within your home, listen to music, read books, attend workshops and classes, use maps and visuals to brainstorm ideas. You can break your routine to see if maybe there's a new perspective, if there's a different way of doing this that you have never done before. Create mood boards and visuals, travel to new places, photography, videography, playing with children. You can create a painting, a sculpture, a book, poems, songs, a movie, architectural designs, video games, websites, blogs, a podcast, photos, fashion designs, jewelry, furniture, recipes, graphic designs, an application, DIY crafts, ceramics, gardening, dance routines, theatrical plays, makeup looks, workouts, business plans, educational courses, social media content, board games. There are so many things we can create in this world. The list goes on. But we must have a balance between discipline and spontaneity. I definitely struggle with this. Sometimes I just don't feel like doing it. I just don't feel like it. That's where the discipline comes in. Whenever I do feel like it, that's when spontaneity comes in. So I need to set a schedule. When am I going to set out time to be creative? And then I just need to do it. Whether it's one hour a day or two hours a day, something that is reasonable, something that I can actually adhere to instead of being like, oh, if I go to work for eight hours, I must work for myself for eight hours too. That is impractical and there's no way I would be able to sustain. But setting a realistic goal allows us to actually do it and that's where discipline comes in. Even if it's just 30 minutes a day, that 30 minutes could turn into three, four or five hours, but as long as you do it for 30 minutes, you've hit your goal for the day. It is important to take breaks. It is good to go on vacation. And if you're working on something like, like building an apartment complex, you may not take your plans with you on vacation and that's okay. What I mean is whenever you're home, whenever you're actually working, if you're working for someone else or even if you're working for yourself and your job is not your creative outlet, just take 30 minutes a day to be creative. You never know what you might create or how you can be inspired and in turn inspire others. For me, it's songwriting. I don't work on music every single day, but I aim to. So 30 minutes a day. Like I said, even if I sit down in front of my computer to work on a beat, or if I'm you know, lounging around and I'm kicking my feet up, writing a song, 30 minutes a day is much better than zero minutes a day. Because like I said, some days I just don't feel like it. But if it turns into five hours, that's fine. But if after the 30 minutes, I don't wanna do it anymore, at least I hit my goal. Let's overcome our creative blocks and let's inspire each other to be better each and every day. Our creativity can lead to fresh, unexpected outcomes, things we never could have even imagined. Don't let yourself stop you. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.